Hi guys, my name is Maynard Castro and welcome to Future Priority Hub. Sa channel na to, i-discuss natin yung mga topics about radiologic technology. Alright, alright, alright. So yeah, next is the uh, Compton Effect. So ito naman guys, kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo yung meaning. Unmodified scattering. Okay, so kailan naman ito nangyayari? Nangyayari ito kapag po ang incident x-ray po ay nag-interact with the outer shell. Electron. Okay, so kung nakita nyo guys yung difference sa kay coherent, si coherent po, interaction with the whole atom. Okay, uh, so kung kay coherent po, excitation, dito naman po guys kay Compton, ang nangyari po is a uh, ionization. Okay, so inionize nyo yung loosely bound electron or outer shell electron. Okay, then ayun nga po, so ganun din po, nagbago din po yung uh, direction ng incident photon. Ayun, nagbago ng direction. Okay? So, ayan. So, sabi dyan, high energy photon. So, ibig sabihin, guys, ito po siya. Ito yung incident photon. Mataas yung energy niya. Okay? Uses a portion of its energy. Sir, bakit portion lang? Okay? Kasi nga, guys, tandaan natin na ang binding energy po sa outer shell is mababa lang kaysa doon sa inner shell. Kaya nga sinasabi dyan, ibig sabihin po, okay, most of the energy ng incident x-ray po, na-retain niya. Okay? So, yung portion na, na wala, ayun yung ginamit niya to ionize the Compton electron. Okay? Siya si naging Compton electron. So, ibig sabihin, konti lang yung nawala sa kanya. Pero nabawasan. Tandaan, hindi siya kagaya ni coherent na wala nangyari po sa incident x-ray energy. At dito is nabawasan. So, ano napansin niyo guys? Okay, kung ito po yung wavelength ng incident, tingnan nyo guys yung wavelength ng scattered, naging longer. Okay, anong ibig sabihin niyan? Yung incident x-ray energy is higher than the scattered x-ray energy. Kasi nga po, the longer the wavelength, the lower the uh, uh, energy po. Okay. The lower the energy of the uh, radiation. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, so, ayan po. Pag tinanong ko, sino mas mataas ang energy incident or scattered? So, malamang incident. Okay? Kesa sa scattered x-ray. Okay? So, sa coherent, pansinin nyo guys, wala nagbago sa scattered tsaka sa incident. Dito po meron. Ha? So, tandaan, mas mataas po ang energy ng incident kesa sa energy na scattered. Okay, so yan. Involves ionization of electron, yes. Uh, what type of electron? Outer shell or loosely bound electron. So, ano po yung result ng Compton? So, number one, scattered x-ray. So, number one, meron tayo. Okay? That's why the major process that produces uh, scattered radiation is uh, Compton, in, Compton scattering. Okay? So, sa so Compton electron po is the product. Okay? Another product. So, syempre, ito yung na-ionize na electron. Okay? And then, pangatlo, nag-change ng direction. Okay, number two. So, number three, nag-change ng direction. Okay? What else? Change in energy, frequency, and wavelength. Yes, sabi ko nga sa inyo, nagbago. Okay? Yung malakas na energy ng incident, nabawasan ng konti. That's why naging longer yung scattered X-ray wavelength. Ano pa nagbago? Ayan. So, ano yung energy transfer na nangyayari dyan? Okay? Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Yung energy po ng incident, okay, is equal to energy ng scattered radiation plus energy, electron binding energy ng electron na involved, okay, sa shell, and then the electron kinetic energy. So, dun po nahati yung uh, incident X-ray energy. So, dyan napapasok po yung law conservation of energy. Okay? And then, uh, po, so sabi niya sa so content scatter retains most of its energy kasi nga po, this is an interaction of the outer shell electron. So, tingnan niyo guys, sa so 180 degrees deflection, scattered X-ray retains at least two-thirds. Okay? So, para mo malalaman yung ano, kung pwede mo yung angle of deflection and pwede mo gumamit ng protractor. Okay? So, pag at least two-thirds daw po ng angle is na uh, ay 180 degrees ang deflection niyan, so, 
two third okay so on one hundred eighty degrees okay so kumpitin mo yung ano angle okay so example guys kinupit niya yung angle okay from the original direction ng primary beam ayan nakita mo ito yung original uh, direction ng primary beam then ano po yung new direction niya pangalawang direction so kukumpitin mo po yung angle niya so pag umabot ka ng 180 degrees it means okay two third na lang ang naiwan approximately ng energy na uh, uh, scattered okay so kapag zero deflection so ibig sabihin niyan guys wala kang ano transfer of energy so kunya rin kung ang energy mo dito so 100 keV okay syempre kung affected ka same lang 100 keV wala ka kasi energy transfer okay syempre nagkakaroon lang tayo ng angle of deflection kapag may energy transfer so that's during uh, uh, sorry pa yung angle of deflection nakadepende kung gano'ng kalakas yung energy transfer okay syempre kung the higher the angle of deflection the higher the energy transfer okay the lower the angle of uh, deflection, the lower the angle uh, energy. Okay? So, yan. So, si Compton po, sabi nga dyan, increase angle of deflection, more energy transferred to Compton electron. Okay? So, ayun po yung concept dyan. Sabi nga dito, so, tingnan niya po. So, ito yung incident photon. Okay? Kung ang angle of deflection po is 90 degrees, okay? So, tinanong kayo dyan, okay? Uh, saan mas mataas, saan mas malakas ang scattered radiation? Sa 90 degrees or sa, actually guys, hindi to 0 degree. Ha? Zero, to, 0 degree to from the primary beam. Pero kung titignan mo guys, that's 290 degrees. Dalawang 90 degrees yan. Ayan no? So, kung tutusin guys, that's 180 degree. Okay? So, pag tinanong kayo dyan guys, sabi ko nga sa inyo, the, la, the, higher, the higher the angle of deflection, mas more energy na tatransfer kay Compton Electron. So, kaya pag tinanong kayo dyan, saan mas mataas ang energy dito ng uh, uh, scatter radiation, saan siya delikado, 180 or 90? So, the answer is 180. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo guys, kapag 180 degrees, wala po tayong angle of deflection. No? Okay? Kung ano po yung, kumbaga, uh, nagtuloy-tuloy lang yung path ng uh, electron or ng atom, uh, ng primary beam, dun sa tinamaan. Okay? So, hindi nagbago yung path. So, it means, uh, wala kang energy transfer. Okay? So, ngayon guys, kapag kinanong naman kayo, anong nangyayari kapag 90, sa 90 degrees? Okay, gano'ng kalaki yung matatransfer na energy? Okay? So, kung kayo tatanongin yan guys, okay, uh, mas safe pag po ang, pag kayo nag-stay is 90 degrees from the patient. Okay, kasi nga po, mas mahina po ang scattered radiation 90 degrees from the patient. So, ito, example guys, yung patient. Ha? Okay. So, hazardous po kapag 180 degrees kasi nga po, mahina po ang energy transfer dyan. Kasi pansinin nyo guys kung ano yung pat ng beam, siya po yung uh, pat pa rin. Okay. After interaction with the atom. So, ibig sabihin hindi siya nag-transfer ng energy kasi wala siyang angle of deflection. Okay? So, kapag meron ka angle of deflection, ibig sabihin dyan, gumamit ka ng energy. Okay? Doon sa interaction. So, ayun. So, dahil mataas po ang, ang dahil 90 degrees po ito. Okay? So, kung ibabalik po natin yung zero. Okay? So, mas mahina po ang energy sa 90 degrees kesa sa 180. Okay, so pinaka-safe mag-stay 90 degrees from the patient. Okay, so ayan. O oh, vice versa lang guys, decrease angle of deflection, mas less ang energy transfer sa electron. So kaya guys, mas malakas po ang scatter radiation kapag po ang uh, angle of deflection ay 
uh, mababa lang. Okay? So, yan. So, tandaan, uh, yung complex scattering po, siya po yung mas common kaysa sa photoelectric effect sa diagnostic range. So, itake note nyo lang. Basta tatlo sila nangyayari. Coherent, Compton, tsaka photoelectric. Ang most common po is the coherent. So, the primary source of scatter is the coherent scattering. Kapag object is the patient. Pag process, Compton scattering. Of course, kung meron kang scatter radiation, what will happen to your image, it will produce lower contrast. Okay? Due to scattered radiation. Okay? So, poor ang contrast kapag mataas po ang Compton interaction. Okay? So, ano yung features ng Compton? Ito nga guys, mga nabanggit ko na kanina. Common po na nangyayari ang Compton kapag uh, kapag uh, mas common po siya nangyayari kapag interaction with the ayan, outer shell, electron or loosely bound electron. Okay, sinabi ko na to kanina. Okay? So, ayan po. Ito po yung ano, most likely to occur sa outer shell or loosely bound electron. Okay? So, what will happen sa anong relationship ng X-ray energy? Okay? Doon kay Compton. So, pag tumaas po ang X-ray energy, sabi nga dyan, tataas po ang penetration. Totoo naman po. Okay? Kasi remember, the higher the KVP, the higher the penetrability. Okay? So, tataas ang penetration without tissue interaction. Okay, tandaan, without. Kasi mas tatagos kesa magkakaroon ng interaction kay tissue. Okay? Sabi dyan, kung i mo po yung percentage ng Compton sa percentage ng photoelectric, pag tumaas po ang X-ray energy, mas marami po ang percentage ng Compton interaction kesa photoelectric effect interaction. Kasi guys, si photoelectric effect, nag-dominate lang yan kapag po mataas ang absorption sa tissue. So like, pag tumaas po kasi ang X-ray energy, okay, of course, expect nyo mataas ang penetrability. Okay? So dyan pa lang, makikita mo, babagsak na po yung absorption. Okay? So, pag pinagkumpara man nyo guys, pag tumaas ang X-ray energy, then pinagkumpara niya yung percentage ng Compton sa percentage ng photoelectric, mas marami pa rin po ang Compton scattering kesa photoelectric effect. And then, kung pinag-uusapan lang natin guys, is the Compton scattering alone. Okay, so remember guys, the relationship of Compton sa X-ray energy ay inversely proportional. Okay? Compton scattering and X-ray energy are inversely proportional. Okay? And then, sabi naman dito, unaffected po ang uh, Compton scattering ng atomic number. Okay? So, kahit tumaas yan, bumaba yan, unaffected po ang Compton scattering. Of course, the last one is the mass density. Okay? That's directly proportional sa Compton scattering. The higher the... Uh, mass density of an object or absorber, mas mataas po ang Compton scattering. Saturday. Saturday.